I've got great news for you. You've got an amazing brain. You've got a Ferrari engine for a brain. Your brain is one amazing, powerful engine. But you've got a problem. You've got bicycle brakes. And they leave my office instead of grieving the fact that they've been giving this diagnosis, celebrating and motivated to do the tremendous work it takes to build those brakes so that they can become champions. Distractibility, turn it on its head and you get curiosity. Impulsivity, that's bad, right? Turn it on its head, you get creativity. You can't be creative if you're not impulsive. You don't say time for my impulsive, my uh, creative thought and lay it like an egg. Creativity depends upon disinhibition, depends upon spontaneity. And hyperactivity, believe me, when you get to be my age, I'm 61, I'm very glad I've got that. It, it, it's called energy. And so my job as the clinician is to help them control that massive brain power they've got so that they can be creative, they can be curious, they can be energetic. I can't tell you how many tremendously successful people have this trait as I think of it. We have got to stop the the punishing negative energy that so often surrounds these kids and instead say, look, you've got amazing talents that maybe don't get measured in a classroom, but boy, they'll be measured in life. As long as you don't acquire the real disabilities, which are shame and fear and loss of hope and giving up on yourself. That's what we need to do. We need to talk about unwrapping gifts, not simply treating disabilities. And to me, that's the breakthrough that I that I hope I have a hand in, in, in issuing.